Happy Friday, Saints. Welcome back to the Halo Morning Show. We're coming to you live from the Halo Newsroom. With your news and your stories. There will be an esports meeting right after school today. It's at 1230 in Mr. Du Bois' room, and it is a Q&A, a live Q&A with Senior Director of the Overwatch League. It's an awesome opportunity for anybody to ask questions about esports in general and to ask about what it's like to work in the video game industry. Everyone is welcome. We hope to see as many people show up as they can. Here's a video from Father Wager with some tips for the finals week. Are you tired from studying for finals? Are you letting stress cloud your thinking? Is worrying about finals affecting your mental health? If so, you should try prayer. Prayer has been proven to relieve stress and refocus one's life on what is truly important. Taking 10 to 20 minutes every morning has been shown to improve one's outlook on life and decrease the level of worry in one's day. Side effects may include a holy glow around one's head and almost apathy in one's grades. Hi, I'm Father Wager, and after 25 years of school, I know a thing or two about taking tests. That last minute cram session right before the final in the halls of the school? It ain't gonna work. That ship has sailed. What you need at that point is prayer. We'll be having Mass at 7.30, Tuesday through Friday. Please, come join us during Finals Week and start your week off right. God bless. Congratulations to both freshman teams. Last night, as I swept Bishop Meage, the Varsity Boys are back in action tonight at 7 p.m. in the semifinals of the Liberty North Invitational against Park Hill. Check our social media and website for a link to watch the game. Any students interested in entering an engineering model building contest, see Coach Hetzel in room 150. The boys basketball team opened up their season with a 51-43 win in the opening round of the Liberty North Invitational. Keyshawn Mason and Zarian Navy, while both scored in double figures while Philip Bell and Will Gavin shipped in eight points each. The Saints will play Park Hill on Thursday at 7 p.m. in the semifinals. Santa Claus, the Grinch, and all sorts of other fun characters are coming to town next Thursday and Friday, Saints. The Performing Arts Department will once again present Christmas plays to get you in the holiday spirit as you head into Christmas break. The plays are about an hour long and only cost $6. Buy tickets ahead of time at stasaints.net slash theater and buy them early. Last year, our shows sold out. See you in the audience next week, Saints. The boys basketball team won an exciting game last night in their matchup against Park Hill. The Saints defeated the Trojans 59-41 in the semifinals of the Liberty North Invitational. Next up for the Saints is the number three ranked baser Linwood Bobcats tonight at 8.30. Come cheer on your boys as they compete for the championship. The Saint of the day is St. Lucy. Lucy knew of the heroism of earlier virgin martyrs. She remained faithful to their example and to the example of the carpenter whom she knew to be the son of God. She is the patroness of eyesight. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Long before rap battles, there was Flighting, the exchange of witty, insulting verses. The verbal throwdowns were popular in England and Scotland from the 5th to 16th centuries. Wow, I did not know that. Thanks for watching today's show. I'm Greta. And I'm Emma. Signing, signing off. off. Remember, stay classy, saints. And make this day count.